Hello, I'm Sean O'Black with the Bank Policy Institute, and I'm here with my colleague, Kara Camacho, Vice President of Government Relations. Kara, we're going to talk about a priority issue for the Bank Policy Institute, anti-money laundering. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, why this is such a priority? Yeah, uh, money laundering is a priority for financial institutions and uh, banks, credit unions, because banks are required to know their customers. In other words, to know, in fact, who they're banking and who they're opening accounts for. And what is BPI doing on the issue? The Bank Policy Institute has been advocating for uh, an updating of the anti-money laundering regulatory structure for about three years now, and we've come up with a set of recommendations, and we're pushing those on Capitol Hill. Great. Tell us a little bit about the recommendations. So we first and foremost encourage the use of technology uh, as part of compliance programs. Uh, the structure with which banks have to um, adhere to the Bank Secrecy Act is really antiquated and hasn't been updated since 1970. So we're asking for the uh, financial institutions to be able to use artificial intelligence and technology in some of those compliance programs. And lastly, what, what are the next steps? So the House Financial Services Committee is scheduled to mark up a uh, AML modernization bill on Thursday morning. Uh, we expect that that will get some bipartisan support and we're, um, we're encouraging members to support that bill um, on Thursday. Great, thanks so much.